This is a board from um, Pick Dropper. Not all of them are as small as the ones that I've been showing you. Um, as you can see, his is bigger. This is, a, this is a big muff though, so to fit a big muff on such a small size is quite an achievement. Um, and as you can see, if we place that, I've actually pot mounted these nine millimeter um, um, pots to the, to the board, which is not what you're meant to do, um, but I plan to put this in a 1590B anyway. Um, so it didn't really matter so much for me. Um, they're just gonna be, you know, on the front in a bit of a funny shape, like this kind of, um, weird triangle sort of shape on the front, but um, I'm not too fussed about that. Um, you'd be better off wiring those um, by hand, so yeah, just make sure that, um, uh, take that into consideration too when you put your pots in. Um, so if I fit that in there, you can see that it comes, f like if that pot was, at, was, was not in the way, um, it comes quite a way down, and it's actually gonna go over the top of these low profile jacks. That's why you use these low profile jacks. I haven't facilitated the use of a, of these low profile jacks yet in any of the builds that I've shown you. This is what you actually use them for, to go under these, these boards. Um, we, there are quite a few boards available um, on the forums, people selling and things like that, so have a look and, and check out. If you want something more complicated, um, there's, there's, there's plenty of um, more complicated um, builds out there and, and more advanced effects out there um, than what I've shown you that I've built. Um, and, uh, but you will need the special hardware for that. Um, so just take that into consideration if you're going to if you're going to build one. So you can pretty much use any PCB as long as it's um, not you know too wide to fit inside the 1590A. That's my face mask, the one that I'm so proud of. You can see that it fits um, snugly on the left and right there. Um, so I've used up the full width of the of the space to um, fit the PCB in. So if it's a if it's a if it's a board that you're not too sure whether you can fit or not. Um, just make sure that it, it's not wider than this um, enclosure, which I'm going to tell you exactly what the measurement is. So, as you can see, that face master is the maximum that it's going to be. So, you want it to not be any more than, um, if you're designing one or if you're selecting one to put inside a 1598, you don't want it to be any more than, exactly, according to this ruler, that's actually losing its print and is difficult to read. 32 millimeters. If you go, and I'm talking exactly 32 millimeters, as you saw, it's very tight. So you probably want to aim for, if you're designing it, you want to aim for 31 millimeter. Um, if you're um, using a, same if you're using a uh, existing board of somebody else's um, that's not specifically meant for 1590A, it just makes sure that it's not more than basically three centimeters and you should be fine. So that's some examples of um, hardware and um, what to look out for depending on the PCB size. Um, that is really the point that I was trying to get across was if your PC, that vastly depends on the PCB size depending on what hardware you need. Um, like I said, that Face Master PCB is small enough to get just normal hardware in, um, but other ones you need um, special hardware. You have no other choice but to use special hardware. So make sure that if you're building one of those that you have the special hardware. And don't try and bother get fitting them with these um, these open style jacks. You just won't be able to do it, and you'll make a mess of it. Um, so now I'll just talk about some of the some of the components that you need to look out for as well, because obviously obviously component sizes are vary immensely. Um, and as you can see on this one, um, the board was getting a bit high, as I showed before, and that um, I, had to, I had to push that um, electrolytic out of the way because the lid um, was crushing it down a bit, so I had to sort of tilt it back a bit. Um, it managed to, I managed to fit it, but if it was any higher, that would have been a big problem. Um, whereas the other electrolytics on that um, Range Master are actually, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see, um, they're actually half height, um, or low profile, I guess you could say. Um, so you can see all those other, other electrolytics are, are, are shorter, and they don't have any problem whatsoever of fitting into a 1590A. So uh, it's, it's a good idea to use them um, if you're not sure if you're going to be able to fit it or not. Um, it really depends on how high that um, PCB is going to be inside the 1590A as to whether you're going to need them or not. Um, this other one, uh, this other range master that I built, um, uh, the board's not sticking up as much as the last one. And I used all low profile um, caps, but I probably actually know that 100, I was going to say I could probably get away with not using the low pro profile jacks, but that 100 um, microfarad cap 
um, wouldn't, uh, I don't think it would fit. As for the face master, um, this one can use all high, high, um, high uh, full height um, electros. Another achievement of that um, of that um, board when you when you when you put it together this way, you can see that everything's you know I mean the ACs are standing up the that that one um, electro is standing up as well. It's better to use the low profile ones if you've got them because um, you net. I mean you might not be sure how you're going to actually end up um, putting that board into your into your enclosure so it's, pr it's, it's best to have low profile stuff if you've got it with 1590A's really sometimes you don't have a choice like with the pick dropper PCB you're probably not really going to have much choice because it's going to be high up because it's going to sit over the top of those um, over the top of the low profile jacks so um, that if I was going to put this in a 1590A that electrolytic may actually become a problem um, so yeah you want to go for low profile stuff I have these low profile caps on my web store as well. Um, I've, I've got in the title low profile, so you know what I'm talking about when I say low profile. I'm referring to those ones that are half height. And speaking of caps, you've also got the um, film cap as well. And you just want to make sure usual film caps will fit, will fit fine. Um, when I say usual, we're talking sort of that size. Um, but some will get large, like if you've got a one microfarad, um, or even, uh, I think even... 220 and 470 nanofarad will actually get will start to get larger and you'll you may have problems with that because um, they start to get higher um, so just keep an eye on that and as you can see I've also put um, one of those uh, Panasonic uh, ECQ um, uh, caps in there as well which are basically uh, polyester caps um, but um, yeah they fit quite well as well actually they, they're actually smaller than the box caps too um, so they're a good choice for 1590A's as well and you're not going to want to use sockets either because sockets are going to add an extra um, uh, height to your um, transistors and, and ICs. So um, as you can see, 1590A is not really something for a beginner, I guess, um, if you socket everything. You, you may be able to fit it, actually. You might be able to fit um, ICs and, and transistors with sockets, but you're going to be probably up to the height of a full height um, cap. Um, so you, again, you just got to make sure that that's going to fit. Uh, in your particular situation and I think probably just finally um, just with the knobs just make sure that you use small knobs for these you're not going to be able to fit I mean unless it's one knob you're not going to be able to fit like chicken heads or the usual style Davies you've got to get the smaller style Davies or anything that's sort of around that sort of size um, uh, because these are these pots are actually sticking through from uh, directly PCB mounted um, so that's what they look like when you push the board through with the um, the pots um, sticking straight up from the PCB underneath. Um, so you can see they're, they're, they're tight together. Um, so just make sure that you get the appropriate knob um, when, you're, when you're ordering your stuff. So I think I'm actually losing my voice, so it's probably my voice box telling me I've done enough talking. Um, if you need any of this stuff, you can check my web store. Go to Mad Bean. He's got a lot of these 1590A um, uh, boards as well. Uh, it's got um, some more advanced stuff than than my um, than my boards. Um, if you need a probably if you need a beginner uh, 1590A board, you'd, you'd probably want to start with my boards. Um, but uh, yeah, he's got plenty as well. So check out what he's got too, and um, and some of the sellers on Mad Bean, uh, the Mad Bean forum as well. Um, there's um, there's uh, like Pick Dropper's got a lot, and there's there's others too. Um, that I can't remember names of, but um, just have a look around, do a search for 1590A in the bit in the buy sell section, and um, send them a private message, and I'm sure they can hook you up. I was just watching back the video and forgot to mention something um, relatively important, I guess you could say. Um, Brian from Mad Bean has um, kindly provided a drill template for 1590A. Um, builds. There's two on a A4 sheet, that's one half of the A4 sheet and you cut it off and stick it to the front of your enclosure as you usually do and um, you'll get um, straighter, uh, you'll get better fitting hardware. Um, I think that these input output jacks he's got there for low profile so um, just be wary of that if you're not if you're using open style jacks that they are quite close to the face of the pedal um, so you'll have to drill a little bit further down if you're using open style jacks and um, these pots are actually for, um, some people put pots when you're running out of room and you've got a lot of pots, some people actually mount 9mm pots on the side of the pedal, um, so that's what they're for, and you've got six um, possible 
uh, drill holes for pots on the front there. You can sort of use that grid to line up whatever it is that you're um, you're you're installing. And um, and you'll also notice that that DC jack is very close to the top of the pedal. Um, that is a that's for a different DC jack than the ones I've been showing you. Um, Mad Bean's got a source uh, link in a document. This is a bit of a long story. Um, if you go to his project, um, the project page that he's got at the top of the at, uh, currently uh, when shooting this video, at the top of the list is a um, uh, I think he calls them baby board uh, guide. Um, and in that, there's links to where you can where you can buy some of this hardware from. If you're in the US, that's great. You can get everything that he's um, suggested. If you're pretty much anywhere else, it gets a little bit tricky to find the same sort of things that he's using. That DC jack is actually a mini DC jack. It's kind of like the ones that I've showed you that I've used in mine, except much smaller. So you can fit that in um, in that spot there, and it will clear the top of your board. Um, which is very useful and handy for 1590As, but if you can't get them, then um, you could use external DC jacks. Um, they're not the most attractive option, but um, if you can't get anything else, you might want to get one of those and put an external jack on there. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend using the um, the, the uh, uh, Brian's um, drill template. You, you, it'll fit much better and you'll be able to get more accurate drill, drill holes if you use it. So I hope that helped. Um, uh, helped you get your head around how 1590A is put together, a few tips, nothing really advanced in what I've told you, it's probably more of a basic um, view on it, but um, you know, I haven't, haven't had extensive experience with 1590As, this is um, you know, uh, somewhere in the maybe intermediate area, so um, yeah, that's it, um, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more Do It Yourself Guitar Pedal tutorials, demos, and videos such as this one. Thanks for watching.